Hey guys, it's Sarah back with Glam Finds with another fragrance review. Today I wanted to come back and do a review of a fragrance that you saw me uh, unbox <clears throat> in my last fragrance haul that I at the time was not particularly impressed by. I kind of expected a little bit more. Uh, so it was definitely not love at first sniff. But I wanted to test it out because the reason that I bought this particular fragrance was because it's supposed to be something that lasts a really long time, is a pretty uh, pleasant fragrance, gonna be a compliment beast. And not only lasts a long time, but uh, it projects really well. And obviously you can read, so the title of it uh, gives it away, but it's Rasasi Havas. Uh, and this one is uh, for him. I know that there is a Pour Femme version. I do not have that one yet. I probably will eventually pick it up based on what you're gonna hear about this fragrance in this review. Okay, so what I get out of this fragrance um, is a very fresh, clean aquatic. Uh, and I like it. It's actually very pleasant. It's sweet. So if you don't like sweet fragrances, you may not like this, but you're gonna get, it's very fresh. Um, you're gonna get those aquatic notes and you're gonna get kind of that sweet undertone. This uh, is really similar to Invictus Aqua. I, I don't know if it's the 2016 batch or the 2018 batch. I think it's probably pretty similar to both. Here's the difference. This fragrance, I put on the, the same amount that I always put on. I did put it in my backpack um, for later, but I did my usual one, two, shirt, shirt, back of neck. And when I got to work, I got a compliment almost immediately, and I think it was like an hour later, because by the time I got there, got everything, um, kind of put my things away, it was, it was an hour. Uh, and someone said, wow, you smell good, you smell clean. And I was like, okay, that's a good, that's a compliment, I'll take that all day. Um, but what I was more surprised about was about three and a half to four hours after that, I was walking by somebody, I would say I was maybe four or five feet away from her, and she's like, wow, you smell really good, what is that? And that's when I was like, huh, you can smell that? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, wow, okay, so this is, I've gone nose blind to it, but you can smell this, even though you are gonna have that olfactory fatigue where once it's on you for a certain amount of time, you're not gonna smell it anymore, but other people will smell it, and that's pretty awesome. Um, the notes in this, I think, are uh, you're gonna get ambergris, you're gonna get um, aquatic notes, woods, and musk. You can get the exact breakdown uh, on Fragrantica, but that's basically what it is. The more important part is what you're gonna smell, though, and I'm just smelling some fresh, clean aquatic notes with that nice, sweet undertone. I don't think it's crazy sweet. I think the first time I smelled it, I thought it was a little too sweet, and upon first spray, it might be a little bit sweet for you, but if you just kind of let it dry down, this is dried down for probably 10 minutes. It's nice, it's actually really nice. And uh, I'm actually happy that I picked it up. Um, I thought that since I got the reformulated one, it wasn't gonna be as good, but I mean, it's a projection beast, and I've had it on all day uh, since this morning, and it's still going strong, so. You don't need as many sprays. Like, you don't really need a decant of this in your bag, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I think five sprays was definitely more than enough, so no one seemed like they were being choked out by it, but very pleasant fragrance. Compliment Monster, I think it would probably be on my top five Compliment Monsters, just because the projection is so good. Um, those are typically the fragrances that are gonna get you the compliments. If people can't smell them, it's gonna be pretty hard. Uh, in terms of when you can wear this, I think because of the sweet note, you can go year round. Like, I think it's a really good spring or summer fragrance, but because it's still pretty sweet, I think it'll cut through the cold. So I think you can wear it in the fall and the uh, winter as well. I don't necessarily think it's one for a night out. It, you can, but I wouldn't. I usually prefer something a little bit darker uh, for evenings, which is ironic, but uh, yeah, I don't really think that this is great for like, anything like that. I think you can wear it to the office, no problem. Um, but for me, this is perfect for like a casual day out. Uh, for my job, it, it doesn't matter. But 
for a typical person's job. This, it's inoffensive, so you could wear it to work, but I think it like will probably shine when you're out and about um, in the spring and summer uh, in terms of who can wear this. I don't want to keep harping on everything being unisex, but I think the smell of this because of the sweetness especially, uh, very unisex. Uh, I really think that things like for him or for her are just, they just gotta market it to, I'm guessing, the people that are gonna potentially buy more of it because, you know, everything is about sales, right? Um, so yeah, I think this is a really good one and I think for the, I think $43 that I got it for, this is definitely like some really good bang for your buck. So. That is my take on Rosasi Havas. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button uh, and go ahead and subscribe and I'll go ahead and uh, make sure to post these videos so you know what to buy and what not to buy. Um, and before I go, real quick, is this blind buy worthy? Because I like to touch on that. Um, if you like sweet fragrances, I say go ahead because you're probably going to have to blind buy this unless you are gonna buy a sample decant. You're not really gonna find this anywhere. I mean, it's not produced in the states so there you go that's my take on Rosasio Vas thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time